Hey friends, Ryan Dorn here, your global sales coach. How you doing this year in 2021? Thanks so much for all your listener questions sent in to Ryan at RyanDorn.com. Love to have all these listeners writing in. All right, Debbie from Toledo asks, uh, hey Ryan, what are some email tools that you're using on a regular basis to help you automate your sales process. All right, Debbie from Ohio. Hey, I love email as a part of the sales process. Now, just for all the sales managers out there, I recognize where the phone fits into the mix, but email is such an important part of what we do. Now, just at face value, there's gonna be different extensions for Chrome, if you're using Outlook 365 or whatever the circumstance is. So I'm gonna primarily focus on, uh, on Gmail because that's what I use most often. Now, I use Gmail email in the browser and there's some tools that I absolutely love. One tool that I love is called Boomerang. Now, it is a paid tool. Most of these I'm going to mention are paid. But what I love about Boomerang is that when I send a customer an email, I can choose when I want that email to boomerang back to me if that person doesn't reply. Now, you can do that in a lot of your CRMs, but I use Boomerang, Gmail, and my CRM all as one giant piece. What I love is it brings it back to the top of my inbox if a customer doesn't reply. Now, the other tool that I really, really love is I love If No Reply. Now, that's specifically, I think, for Gmail, and you can do something similar with a tool in Outlook called Mixmax. What it does is it allows me to set up a sequence of emails independent of my CRM. Now recognize a lot of CRMs will do a lot of these things, but a lot of you don't have access to either good CRMs or a CRM at all. Now what's cool about if no reply is you've got five boxes that you can fill in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a sequence of say five emails that I wanna send to a particular customer over a period of say 14 days, two months, or whatever the circumstance is. So for example, maybe I get a sales lead, I'm gonna to try to call them, I'm gonna email them, but there's a lot of time involved in the follow-up email process. So I can load in email number one. I can say, hey, in five or six days, whatever it is, send the second email. If no reply, if they don't reply to the email, it'll send them the next email in the sequence. Now, I am not a big fan of mass email marketing when it comes to sales. I think my response rate is like 0.05%, really, really low. That's called spraying and praying. I'm not a big fan of that. I do think email is important, but I love these tools because I can personalize, highly personalize the messaging that I'm sending to these customers in some level of sequence. Now, I also love, so go to the Google Chrome store, the extension store or whatever they call it, and just look for email automation tools. It'll show you all the things that are there that you can track when people respond, color code things and all kinds of stuff. Now, I love Outlook, it's widely used. I just find that from a Gmail perspective, I have a lot more email tools that I use. So every day I'm using Send Later. I'm gonna, that's built in. I'm gonna use Boomerang. I use it every single day, all day long. And then I use If No Reply on a regular basis. But uh, Debbie, don't forget, email is only one part of the total sales process. But anymore, I think it's a pretty darn important part of the process. All right, friends, find out more about what I can do. Love to come to uh, speak at your sales meetings. I've already gone through COVID, so I'm ready to get back on the road. Come to your sales meetings. We'll do some virtual training. Find out all about that over at RyanDorn.com. Don't forget, friends, if sales was easy, everybody be doing it, and they're not. So we're either crazy or we found careers that'll feed our families for a lifetime. All right, friends, we'll see you next week.